Hey guys, just want to show you my new router table that I made. Um, it ain't perfect, but um, it's going to get the job done. So uh, my table saw here has cast iron uh, centerpiece and then steel stamped wings on the side. There's two of them. But then there's this big hole over here. The rail goes all the way out here to... to um, Give me a 30 inch rib capacity on the right side of the blade so there was this about 14 inch uh gap and i was thinking you know uh i need a new home for my um for my triton three and a quarter horsepower router and so i um wanted to put it in um, in here so i got a, a craig plate for it, it came um, already drilled with the the bolts for putting in the triton it has this handy uh, hole right here that, um, yeah, you can see what I'm doing down there. You can adjust the height of the router from above the table. Okay, so that's pretty cool. You could do um, changes to the, the bit from above the table as well. Um, so... This table just made out of some particle board covered with melamine that I got from Home Depot. And I had a lot of cherry laying around the shop, so I just made a frame for it out of cherry. It's bolted in there. Uh, should be level. It was level the other day. Um, so that was step one, putting that router table in. I also got this safety uh, switch from, from Rockler. It's really easy to bump on and off. Uh, when when that's what you want to do so let me tell you a little bit about this um, this fence that I made today um, so got a four inch dust collection on the top and oh I, I didn't mention it but the Triton router has um, has a vacuum plug on it down underneath so I got dust collection from above and below through there um, and um, Let's see, so just got a box that sucks all the chips in. Um, this fence just clamps to my table saw fence so I can slide it real easy um, as I would slide my table saw fence. Okay. Um, what I did here was I got some, some T-knobs over here that, um, that loosen up and I can move this fence in or out depending on the size of my router bit. I already showed you the miter track down there. I got a, a T, um, uh, what's that called? T track up there if I want to put a, a feather board to put some downward pressure on a workpiece. And um, anyway, so, so that's pretty much it. I mean, it's just some MDF and some particle board. Uh, just what I had laying around. And um, it seems to be pretty good. This, um, this, um, Melamine right here is nice and slick. It's easy to um, to slide stuff against, and um, we'll see how it holds up. So, I mean, what I had to buy, I had to buy um, these clamps for the fence. Had to buy this um, dust fitting for my um, four-inch dust collector. Had to buy the uh, router plate and the levelers and maybe the switch. Oh, and of course the T-track and miter slide. I didn't even add up how much it all costs, but I sold my old little uh, fold-up router table for 50 bucks, and um, probably spent more than 50 bucks on all this stuff, but it was worth the upgrade. And now I have a little bit of extra capacity uh, on my table saw surface, so um, it was a fun little project, and um, I've done a few things on it, um, and it seems to work great. Um, anyway, that's it.